everyone. This is Mama Joy. Welcome to my channel. I have a few little things that I wanted to show you. Um, I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought a bird feeder for a dollar and a quarter. And really, there's nothing wrong with it. But I'm going to show you how to make the nectar for the hummingbirds. And I have <clears throat> four cups of warm water right here. I have four cups. I'm going to pour it into this bigger bowl. So the recipe is four to one. And I'm going to put in one cup of sugar. And the water. It doesn't have to be boiling. It just, it doesn't even have to be warm. But you have to get the sugar dissolved. That's, that's the main thing. So I'm gonna stir this and get all this sugar dissolved. And then what you can do when you get this <clears throat> made, whatever don't fit in your bird, in your hummingbird feeder, you can just put in a, a quart jar or whatever you want to put it in and put it in the refrigerator until you need to refill your hummingbird feeder. So as cheap as they are or as inexpensive as they are for a dollar and a quarter, you could get two or three of them. <clears throat> I only got one because I didn't have that many places to hang them. I've got, I do have some more uh, sh little tiny shepherd's hooks that I can put them on. And I may run and get me some more later. But I wanted to go ahead and make this uh, nectar up. Do not put red food coloring in it. There's red on the feeder and that will draw the hummingbirds, but um, you don't want to put red food coloring in because I don't think that's uh, too good for the hummingbirds. And also, <laughs> I had something else that I wanted to tell you. When I was making the cornbread the other day, I told you that I used, I think I was used two cups of cornmeal. And I was using this little measuring cup that my daughter got me. Uh, she got me a whole set of this uh, Pioneer Woman cookware. She got me a baking dish and the measuring spoons and cups and some little bowls. This says one cup. And I assumed mm. it was one cup. But it's not, it's, a lot, it's more. I think the one cup is down lower and that's why my batter was thicker on my cornbread and I just didn't bake it as long. But the recipe is right. This cup was just, is more than a, more than a cup. If you have this set of baking uh, measuring cups, <laughs> measure it out with a measuring cup. And I uh, think your stuff will turn out best. So I never thought about measuring it or anything beforehand. <clears throat> Okay, I've got this all stirred up. And I'm going to pour it in to, I'm gonna hold over the sink here in case, in case I spill it. <laughs> in case I spill a little bit of it. Actually, I'm gonna pour it into this other measuring cup that's smaller and then put it in there. I haven't had any hummingbirds yet. I'm hoping they'll start coming. I may have to go get more of them the feeders so that they will come. Okay, that held almost two cups. <clears throat> so 
So you put this together, you set this on top and screw it on. And I don't turn it up the other way till I get outside. So I'll go hang this outside and then I'll be back and then I'll take you out there and show you where I hung it. Okay, I've took the feeder outside. I went ahead and put it in uh, two smaller jars. I didn't have a quart in here. So I'm gonna, I've just put them in the smaller jars and then I'm gonna put those in the refrigerator and hopefully I can draw some hummingbirds. Okay. I'm back out here on the patio. And here's the hummingbird feeder. And I don't know, it may be down too low. I just filled my bird feeders back up. And the squirrel, he keeps chewing where they eat the little, I've got that one taped and that one taped. He keeps pulling those off. He's so ornery and I feed him. Now I've put this one here and this smaller one here. He can get on it too. He can get on the fence and jump over. I've got it sprayed with Pam <laughs> and uh, hopefully he can't climb up that pole or hold on to anything. But I've fed him corn. I've fed him peanuts. Uh, I had some uh, acorns that I had sa had forgot that I had saved, and uh, I feed him. I feed him. There's about three of them, and I feed them all the time. And they're just tear up my bird feeders. Terrible. I've still got another bird feeder over there that holds that um, suet and I've, I'm out of that. They love that. I've got to go get that. Now, this bird feed I just bought, I was out of feed. Okay, um, I just went and bought more bird feed. I was out. This is a 10 pound bag and I'm trying to find somewhere to get this bird feed, bird seed cheaper. And it's kind of expensive. I think that was a nut hatch that was over there. Anyway, uh, I've had some blue jays out here and some and pigeons. They like they don't like to get up on the bird feeders. The pigeons, they just like to eat off of the ground. And. Uh, but the squirrels eat it up hard before they can hardly get get over there to eat any of it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to hop back off for now. I just wanted to tell you a few things and show you how I made the, the hummingbird nectar, which is over there. And like I said, I may have it too low, but we're going to see if I can draw some. There's the pretty little bird. Yeah, I think that's a nut hatch. But anyway, I will see you again soon. I just decided to get back on here a minute. I wanted to tell you, and I don't think I've told you this story, but I may have. But I'm going to tell you again. When I was a little girl, my daddy went hunting. Hunting. <laughs> and he went he was, I don't know what they were, I guess they were squirrel hunting. I don't really know. But anyway, he found a nest of squirrels that had babies in them and no mama. And he brought home two of those baby squirrels. But he didn't tell me what he had. He said, hold out your hands. I've got something for you. Shut your eyes. So I shut my eyes and held out my hand and he put those two squirrels in my hand and I opened my eyes and I screamed bloody murder, threw them in the floor. <laughs> it's a wonder I hadn't killed them. And he, I thought they were mice and I was scared to death of mice. And, uh, but they weren't, they were squirrels and my mother picked them up and 
saved them. They didn't, it didn't hurt them. I, I wasn't that far, I was a little girl, so I wasn't that far from the floor. But anyway, she went to town and bought these little teeny tiny doll bottles and uh, cut the end off of them, not very much, so they wouldn't get too much. And she fed those squirrels until they got big enough to eat with the bottles, little baby milk bottles, or little doll bottles. And we kept them in a box. And uh, anyway, they, they kept growing and growing and getting bigger. And uh, my dad built them a pen outside and we'd put them in there in the daytime. But if I wanted to play with them, I brought them in the house. And we had a milkman that came and delivered our milk. And my mother worked, uh, my dad had a, a appliance and gas uh, business, uh, heating and air conditioning business. And the business was next door to our house. So mother could work over there and come home and fix lunch or see, see about me and I could go in and out of the business as I wanted to. But when the milkman come, she, we had a, a glassed in sun porch that was all glass and she had bamboo curtains that rolled up and it left a roll along two walls of the porch or the, the porch. And, um, those squirrels would get up on that bamboo curtain and run. And when the milkman came in and he come to the door, one of them jumped on his shoulder and went over here. The next one jumped on his shoulder and they would ride to the refrigerator with him. He got the biggest kick out of that and he'd let him get on his shoulders. He was a wonderful milkman. And he always looked in the refrigerator to see what my mother needed. and or if she needed something extra, she'd leave him a note and he'd fill up what we needed and be on his way. But he had ice in the back of his truck and us kids would go out there and ask him if we could have a piece of ice in the summer when it was real hot. And he'd give us a piece of ice. But anyway, I didn't want you to think that I don't like those squirrels. I do, but they are aggravating. And they eat up all the bird feed and it's very, very expensive. They eat their feed plus and take them to their nests and then come back and eat the bird feed. So I've, anyway, my pet squirrel's name was Bobby and Betty. <laughs> and uh, anyway, we had a big kick out of them and we kept them in a pen until they got pretty good size and then, uh, Daddy thought we ought to let them go back to the woods where they would be happier. So he took them and turned them loose back in the woods. And But we enjoyed them while we had them and he saved their lives by bringing them home. So anyway, we probably ate, his, ate their mother, who knows? I don't know if he was squirrel hunting or what, that sounds terrible, but um, Daddy used to go squirrel hunting, and I'm not sure if that's what he was hunting. I'm sure it was, but he found these, this nest of squirrels, and we, I did enjoy them, and I did love them. They were sweet little, little pets, but I just wanted to tell you that real quick and let you know that I, I'm not a squirrel hater, but anyway, I'll get off for now.